Hi everyone, I really hope you are doing very good. In this video, we are going to see the realization of the plural morpheme S. What do we mean by the realization in this case? The realization means the pronunciation, the pronunciation of this sound S at the end of the word. So, for example, we have a word singular and when we want to make this word singular, we add the plural morpheme S and this plural morpheme S, it differentiates, for example, the pronunciation or the realization of this sound differ from one word to another. So, Basically, there are three rules in which this plural morpheme S differ from one to another, right? So, S is realized as S after voiceless consonant, right? So, S is realized as S after voiceless consonant. So, for example, we have a word, right? And this word, the last sound of this word, right, is voiceless. So when we add S to this word, right, and the last sound of this word is voiceless, S is pronounced as S. We realize that the pronunciation, right, of this sound is the same, S, okay? And S is realized as Z, Z after voice consonant. So when we have, for example, a word, right, and the final of this word or the last voice of this word is voice consonant. So the pronunciation of S is realized as Z. Okay, so we hear that S morpheme is pronounced as Z. Okay, and S is realized as is when after X, after CH, after SH, and after J, and after Z, and s. So this is the rule you should remember about these sounds, okay? So these sounds, some of them are voiced and some of them are voiceless. So we see that s is realized as s after voiceless consonant except some consonant, except some consonant like sh and like for example s, okay? And also, S is realized as Z after voice consonant except some consonant. For example, like J and Z, right? Okay, so the morphonemic realization of S shows up in three different allophones or sounds. Allophone is the realization of sound, okay? It's not a, uh, it's, it is not a morpheme. So here we see that we have mixed right? We have mixed things. We have morphology, the study of morphology, mixed with phonology. Why? Because S, plural, the morpheme S, plural, has to do with a grammar, has to do with something uh, called morphology, not with something called phonology or sounds. But when we speak about the realization of this morpheme, right? When we speak about the realization, we mean pronunciation, okay? But if we speak about mor morphology, we say that S is the plural. So this is the function of S in morphology. S makes the word become plural, okay? So this is the difference. For example, we have here some examples. Understand more, okay? Voice consonant, I uh, stated and I listed here voice consonant and I listed here voiceless consonant, okay? So, for example, when S is realized as S, when S is realized as S, for example, like fact, okay? Fact. So, we see that T is voiceless, so S is realized as S. So, S here, plural morpheme S, the same pronunciation is realized as why because the last voice the last uh, sound is voiceless the same here for example phonetics so we have k, k, k is voiceless so the plural morpheme realization is s okay here s is realized as a z when we have s realized as a z like 
hands hands right we don't see hands hands okay hands hands the plural morpheme is is realized as what as z why because the last voice here is voiced the last sound here is voice sorry right the same here stars stars we don't see stars 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 so the last voice is r r r and r r american r so this is basically r optional here because uh, British accent and American accent. For British accent, this is stars, and for American ac uh, accent, I'm sorry, this is stars, stars. Okay, stars. So both of them are uh, and r uh, r uh, is uh, both of them are voice. Okay, so we see that s is realized as z. Okay, here s is realized as is when, for example, churches, churches. So uh, when we see the last voice ch. So we realize that S morpheme pronounced as is churches, not churches, not churches, churches. Okay, kisses, kisses. The plural of the word kiss. So we see that the last sound is S, S, right? S. We cannot see kisses, kisses, kisses. Okay, we see kisses. Kisses, okay? So the plural morpheme S takes the three types of allophones or sound realization. Three main realization and three sounds, okay? Uh, S realized as S after the last voiceless consonant except sum, okay? This sum is S, Z, Ch, Sh, J, X. And S is realized as Z after the last voice consonant except sum, S, Z, Sh, and ch and j and x okay so we realize that s pronounced as is after s z ch sh j x okay i hope this video is clear and uh, if you have any questions please you can write to me and if you are interested in more lectures like this about phonology or morphology you can contact me and I'll try to explain anything for you. Thank you for watching this video and I hope the best of luck for you. Take care.